Did you know that large flocking birds, especially waterfowl and seagulls, are a major safety concern at airports nationwide? That's why SeaTac Airport was the first in the nation back in the 1970s to hire its own full-time wildlife biologist with but one job, to make SeaTac's airfield as unattractive to birds as possible. You know, airports use these farmers in agricultural areas where they're trying to protect their berries from birds, but they are designed just for making loud noises. It'll shoot out and then it's going to make a large bang at the end. So I'm the wildlife biologist at SeaTac Airport and my primary responsibility is to manage the wildlife program from the standpoint of minimizing hazards to aviation caused by wildlife. Wildlife dispersal, north end of the airport, Reba Lake, next 15 minutes. And most of the species of wildlife are birds. So it's just a matter of looking at the habitat that we have here on port property. That habitat, which is off port property, really within about two miles, and in some cases out to five miles, working with the community, working with folks to make sure that we're not doing things to attract large flocking birds and some of those species of wildlife that cause uh, risk to aviation. It's just a, a, a way of managing the, the water, keep it on site. The art is to do it in such a way that you're not attracting water-loving wildlife, waterfowl, for example, to the site in the meantime. John is a professional arborist and climber. And so he's doing the climbing today that will go up this uh, black cottonwood tree and uh, up to a nest about 40, 50 feet up where there are some young red-tailed hawks uh, waiting to be taken out of the nest. And what we're going to be doing is relocating these birds about 70 miles north in a much better and certainly a safer habitat for them. And there's a bird in defensive posture up there with his wings out, trying to look bigger. And it's not these noisy planes everywhere. See you later, we're going for a little ride down now. He's got his first bird by the legs, and now he's holding it up. Bird's flapping, so he'll have to restrain the wings. And then down into the bag, just that simple. Good job, John. Thank you. You got the bag? Yep. Yeah. So here you have about a three week old IS or nestling red tailed hawk. So you can see that, uh, you know, with these jets coming in and out, and you have very naive young hawks, that uh, they can be struck extremely easily, which is what we want to avoid for their sake as well as the sake of the airlines. And that's why uh, the Port of Seattle has put together the Seattle Tacoma International. Uh, raptor management program and this is one of the integral parts of it and with help from guys like these uh, we can pull it off oh yeah look at her she's gonna be a fighter I can tell this by looking at her we're getting close to 175 birds now that we've relocated away from the airport and the neat thing is is that they haven't come back 